Yeah, good evening, everyone. A quick one this evening again. We just want to have a nice time. Again, welcome to this broadcast. Please just click the share button. Let's share the word of freedom. Let's share the word of freedom. Let's share the word of freedom. I do must be liberated. Let's share the word of freedom. We are here to join voices together and liberate our people from the shackles of those that want to keep us perpetually on that bondage. So just click your share button. Let's share. If you're on Facebook, you can share on YouTube, share also. And give us some, some thumbs up. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Jesus, for giving up the governor, the governor of the people. God in our backyard, God in our backyard, that is taking and those people and they're loving and those people. Thank you, Jesus. Please just click the share button. Invite friends. Let's invite friends. Thank you, Jesus, for giving out the governor, the governor of the people. God in our back, the king, God in our back, the king, that is taking the those people, and the loving and the little. God in this level, and those people say, Papa, please join your sin. Yeah, go 
Good evening, everyone. A quick one tonight again. We are here to, to tell the people the truth. And the tonight's topic is a very interesting one. Like you can see on my broadcast world, the tonight's topic is political shocker awaits the enemies of the masses come September 19th. Political shocker awaits the enemy of the masses come September 19th. So this, this is one thing that we all need to be very, very aware of. You know, I, 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 want, to, I want to start by this. I want to appreciate every one of you who have been standing, you know, by the truth. Because one thing is this, it is very difficult for, for you to see a lot of people standing on the side of truth. Very, very difficult. Very, very difficult, I repeat it. For you, for you to see people standing on the side of truth. Many people, because truth is so bitter, truth is so, it's, it's lonely. You know, it's a but lies, you know, attracts a lot and a lot and a lot of, of friends. But I want to appreciate every one of you who is standing on the side of truth, who is standing on the side of freedom, who is standing on the side of development, who is standing out, even at the risk of your lives, to defend the truth and the, 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 the voice of the people. I want to say the good Lord will bless you. We, are, the, the, we appreciate you all. Every social media influencers, every one of you supporting from the diasporas, every one of you supporting from Africa, from Edo State, and every part of the world. You know, seeing that we are able to move Edo to the next level, we appreciate you guys. We say thank you very much. I will believe at the end of this whole journey, we shall all love and celebrate the goodness of God upon our state. And we are very certain that by come September 19th, it's going to be like a tsunami wave that is going to wave away every enemy of development in a dose. Get this, believe me on this. By September 19th, it's going to be something that has never happened before. It's going to be a tsunami wave that will wave away everything everything that has aired the state bound for a very long time. It's going to be a time whereby there's going to be liberation of the people. There's going to be a separation you know, of the people from, from every form, from every form you know, of, uh, of, of issues that have, that have aired the state bound for a very long time. That I can assure you guys. That's what I want to, I want to appreciate you tonight you know, for joining up again while we have to deal with issues that concerns uh, the development of Edo State. Now, let me just go a little bit quicker. You know, a few, few days ago, we saw Shomole kneeling down everywhere in Benin City begging, you know, the, the no gays. What you need to know is this. If you're a typical Benin man or a typical Benin woman, you understand, you understand something that we, as far as, as far the Edo's are concerned, as far the entity called Nigeria is concerned, we have, you know, a superior history. We have a very superior history, a very authenticated history. We have, you know, an history that is that is uh, that is so so much, you know, superior to every other histories as far the uh, the the Nigerian setting is concerned. And and it's very very impossible for a minority want to bring down the majority. We don't talk so much, but our ancestor does. Okay. <laughs> I'm a pastor, but I want to say something. We don't talk about because people that we believe in, we, they talk on our behalf. And you see Noshobele Nili down in that very particular video or that particular picture. It is not, it is not a what is it called? It's not, it's not a, 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 a mistake. It is, it is, it is a, it is an ordination, you know, from the from the superior beings. You know, it's a level to bring in to his needs for you to understand that an edoma remains an edoma. Okay, and and number two, you know, it also shows some kind of level. You see, when he was kneeling down, the man he was kneeling down for was actually sitting on the chair. That's a level of superiority. He was sitting on the chair. Why he was kneeling down? The guy was sitting on the chair on a white chair on a white, you know, safari all through. He was on the black on the black, you know, trouser with a black chair with some scribes. The guy he was kneeling down for, he was kneeling for, was on a white chair sitting down. On the chair and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and he, he, he was he was sitting down, you know, laughing as a superior, you know, 
uh, uh, guy or the superior, you know, being in that very particular posture. And 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 thirdly, in the history, let me let me give us some little history. If if you want, if you understand, in the early you know uh, 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 time of the of the of the Nigeria state, you know, we had we had a very prominent, two prominent you know politicians in the West. Then one of them was you know a, 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 a chief akintola and the other one was chief awola war and 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 you know these two guys these two men you know we are very very you know important they were very influential in their dress you know in their domain which was then the western uh, region and this very particular set of people you know the the minority then you know call them you can call it the majority but whatever it is, but there was a guy who actually came and played the spoiler between these two brothers who were actually on the same side of the coin. They played a spoiler on them that actually divided, you know, these two guys, you know, and tore them apart. And up to today, up to this moment I'm speaking now, the grandchildren and the great-great-grandchildren of each of these people do not still talk. The enmity that was created by some persons coming into them to not divide them is still in existence, as we speak. Okay? That is one of the reasons why you see some of us are actually behind our basaki. Because we do not want anyone, any outsider, any intruder, for whatsoever reason. Someone is going to tell me, yeah, in 2016, he actually supported uh, Obaseki. Yes, then he was a governor. He had a stake. Then he was a governor, he had the stake, he was the one that was living. So, wherever he was doing, they were doing it within you know the circumference of his position. But now that he has actually left the government house, and there was no need of him interfering in the issue that concerns the Beninese, it, it becomes the, it, it, they have already you know seeded the eight years to the to, to the Edo South. Of, of Edo State. So it is now the direct responsibility of this Edo speaking part of the state to decide who they want to elect. And, and we are saying we don't want few guys to decide our fate for us anymore. We want a situation whereby we have what it takes. We don't decide who rules us. We are the people. Like I said a few days ago, we are employing you. You aren't my boss. Obasaki is not my boss. I am his boss. I actually employed Obasaki to work for me. I employed Matthew Rorride to work for me at the center. I employed Honorable Morigi Obedeyama to represent me at the center. They are actually answerable to me and to you. So we must begin to understand what this whole scenario is all about. We told, we employed them, go there and fix that company for me. A dusted is your company. A dusted is my company. We have a stake as citizens of that state. We all cannot become the CEO of the state. So we need someone to go there and sit at the aim of the affair of the state and decide for us and decide for us through our collective contribution on how our state can be moved from one level to another. So if you are going to work for me and you want to force yourself on me, it becomes next to impossible for you to listen to me 
when you get to power or when you become a CEO. Because I, who is the owner of the company, we who are the owner of the company, did not contribute to you being appointed or to you being elected to the office of the CEO of Edo State. This is where some of us are coming from. This is the angle some of us are trying to explain that the Edo life should understand. Because I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about a lot of things today, but I want to pick this one first. This is where we are coming from, that the Edo life should understand why some of us are hammering on let the people live. Let the people lives now in this election this is the first time in the history of Edo State election that every Edo man whether from the south from the central or from the north have become political animals first time in history this is the first time in the history of Edo State that every one of us now have a voice to contribute to the day-to-day -day activities of the electionary period in our state. I want to say something very clearly. 2020 is not 2016. The will, the people's will, I repeat, the people's will is mightier than any billions in the world. The will of the people is more mightier, more stronger, more forceful than all the monies put together all over the world. In this September election, Money will not solve it. Go mark it down. Money will not, will not, will not give room. Will not make this work. The people have spoken. The voice of the people is the voice of God. And when the people are resolute, they can break every walls that stand on their way. The war of the collective people, no man, no matter how rich you are, no matter how influential you are, no matter how powerful you are, can be able to stand the will of the people over what is happening in those states. That will tell you that we are not in a situation whereby the adult people are saying, we are no more slaves in our own state. We need not to take our destinies into our hands. We are no more to be cajoled by some 50000 some $5 million, from $10,000 or whatever. We have decided to be who we are because we are going to take responsibility for every action on inaction that we take in this year election. The of us who are on the screen every day supporting the, gov the government of the day, we are doing that because when time comes, if Abbasaki fails to do that which he had promised us, we, the people, who have stood by him, who fought vehemently, Against every form of individualism, suppressing the will of the majority, we come out again and give him a, ch a chase for his money. That I said, the will of the people is mightier than any billions in the world. No money can buy this election. Go mark it down. They will only take your money and they will vote their conscience. Edo is getting wiser because if we don't do it right, if we don't make it right, other states cannot follow. So, so we are going to create 
a new template. We're going to create, you know, a pace setting mechanism on how politics is going to be played after now. And, and I can assure you clearly and simply that by 2023, there will be a new order of things based on what is happening today in Edo State. They're going to understand that the old, the old process of electionary before in Nigeria is not according to the orders of the people. The people, listen now, after this election, the masses will not be respected. Your vote, your, 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 your regard and respect will not only be during election, they'll begin to respect you every day because they know, they not understand, they not appreciate your values. Just like it happened in the Western world where we live. The government fear the people. The government can't take some decisions without the impute of the masses. Okay? Not even the workers. What they do in most of this Western world is even when they want to do something against the people, or they want to like, do something that is going to affect the people negatively. They, they send out a questionnaire to evaluate the people that, is in, that are in support or the people that are against what they are doing. Because they know if they make a mistake, the people is going to flog them four years after for that insubordination that they have done to the boss. We are the boss. Osobole is not our boss. That is That needs to be put in place. So him going around claiming, behaving as if he is the one that owns Edo State. That we will not accept. He said in the video why it was nearly before our Nuggets that he actually sold us a Toyota car instead of a Toyota product, instead of a Mercedes Benz product. I want to say to you, Adam Sali Oshomulesa. I think the Nigerian people and the Edo people love Toyota products. If you go to the street, the most loved cars in Benin today, they might not be the most expensive, is Toyota product. You can hear of Venza. You can hear of, uh, of uh, Lexus. You can hear of, uh, of all other Toyota names you can hear of. Because it, it has what it takes to withstand... The, 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 the atmosphere that we live in is also cheap to repair. My question to you is this. If you are a seller, I am a buyer, and I came to your shop to buy a product, and you, you cajoled me into buying a fake product like you claimed, who is, who is supposed to be crying? Is it you? Or me? Who is supposed to be complaining? Is it you that sold me a bad product or I that actually bought the product? It may be bad to you, but in some areas, this product has actually worked well for me. <laughs> okay. So, if you say you sold us a bad product, fine and good, you wanted to deceive us. You wanted to destroy our dignity as a people. You wanted to destroy all that we stood for. That was wonderful. It was appreciable. You you played us into believing that the product you sold to us was good. was the best. was the most perfect product. It was awesome. You so much, you so much, you know, eh, 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 evaluated the product. You, you, you might watch the product to a level that we, we thought the product was all in all until you said it was bad. But when we took the product from you, when we decided to accept the product, we now found out that the product was not the best, but it was better than the product that we had before we bought that one. We now found out that the product is easily manageable. We have also found that the product is environmental friendly. Despa is not the best product, according to you, but it is easy to repair. 
It, it understands the nature of things surrounding us. So, in the last four years, we've not got used to this Toyota product. Because it's cheap. It doesn't consume fuel. With 2,000 Naira, we can easily buy fuel in, uh, in, in this very particular product. It's not beautiful. It's not elegant. It's not luxurious. But it is accommodatable. It is affordable. It is durable. It is flexible. So we said, okay, I think we love this product now. That's why it is not the best, but yet it is better than the ones we had before and the one you are about to sell to us. You call it when you are selling to us a Mercedes-Benz product. For goodness sake. How many of you know Mercedes-Benz? Mercedes-Benz is so luxurious. It's so bogus. We're built beautiful. But that Mercedes Benz is not a car for everybody. Only few can be able to maintain a Mercedes Benz product. It is a product for selected few people. Very, very few can actually afford a Mercedes Benz. So, why would you want to give us a Mercedes Benz? That when you give us a Mercedes Benz, and when there is an issue with a Mercedes Benz product, I cannot be able to fix it. Then this car will be parked. This product will be abandoned because it is not people friendly. It is not masses friendly. So that is why we are telling you today. Thank you, sir, for actually giving us a product that we can be able to manage and work with. Okay. Now, the tsunami wave in Edo state politics is going to wash away many, many things in its path. You know, somebody come here and say, ah, sir, do you know that there will be a lot of resignations, you know, from the Abbasakis government? That is a, is a pointer that it will be rejected by the people. I laughed. That's okay. Let me try to educate you a little bit on how some of these things have been done. Now, the moment there is a resignation, there is a, a, a change, a shift in the paradise of things from one po po point to another, particularly in the situation or in the state that Obaseki was into. They are lo loyalists of different camps in the APC. Who we are still with Obaseki, that's part they were against him, but their livelihood was being sustained from, from the job they had they had with him. And secondly, Abbasaki was still within the APC family. So they needed a mole. An insider who would be furnishing them with information on what is happening within the government of Abbasaki. That's number one. Number two, they expected Obasaki to have done the, the unimaginable by sacking these people. Because if he had done that, he would have sent a wrong signal that Obasaki is inhuman. Obasaki is intolerant. And Obasaki is very aggressive. So Obasaki left them. He changed some few from some few guys who are in the very key positions that are that will be you know a disadvantage to him and let the others to be. So when they waited and waited and waited, what they expected was not coming, they began to resign. That is the game of politics. If you watch, if they resign today, the same day a new person has already, already been appointed. That tells you that the names of the new appointees have already been listed down even before the resignation because they know it's going to be a matter of time it's going to happen. Like the new, the two guys who just uh, uh, resigned, Odige and uh, Shomoles' younger brother. So Odige is Shomoles' wife's in-law or whatever. Shomoles' in-law. And Shomoles' younger brother. So how do you expect these two people 
to be loyal to Obaseki when their own benefactor is actually the arrowhead of Obaseki must go campaign. It does not possible, guys. It's completely impossible. So, what you see today is a tsunami wave. You know, when the, when the tsunami comes in, what does it do? As it comes in, it begins to blow away everything that is on this path until the road is being cleared for a new season of politics. Like I saw one, one Abino, you know, one Abino on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on, on, uh, on social media crying. It was it was so it was so disgusting. Let me see if I can, I'm going to see the video. It, it, it was so disgusting that I I began to wonder what a hell of a country are we? The guy was crying. He just hear this video before I continue. Hear this video. An ambitious man is a dangerous man. This this is the abino talking now. He is doing everything possible to bring down every other person that refused to support him. Why? Is it by force? You know, Obasaki should want today, 27th day of August, that I, Prince Emmanuel of the Year, have said the truth to him. By the 12th of September, only seven people in the executive will be standing with him. And out of that seven, only three have an entire family. The rest fall then for suppression. Even if he deserves his escort today, and we are many people, they will abandon him. Is it the commissioners who refuse to buy vehicles for official vehicles that will support him? The year that now. That have been working for three years in March that have no utility vehicles to enhance their work. I was driving the other day. Please the just share, share, share. share. The car. This car broke down. Trying to fix and I packed and I told my cousin that we do lead the people. And you want to crush the people, you want to protect the people. Before you lead the people, you must first love these people. You must have compassion towards the people. That is the only way you can deliver. You see that now? Everything he said was just about themselves. All about themselves. What is loving the people, if not paying workers when they finish working? What is more important in loving the people, if not paying our senior citizens after they have served the state for 35 years or after they have clocked 65? What is loving the people, if not making sure that some hoodlums, some warlords, self acclaimed street, gen uh, street generals, are no more embarrassing our mothers? And our fathers in the market and at the motor park. What is more, as loving the people by making sure that our less privileged parents can be able to now give their children a well deserved education. What is what is more than loving the people? When a government is not building a low-cost estate, housing estate, for the low-income earners to be able to live comfortably, knowing fully well that they cannot be able to put money together and actually buy or build a home for themselves. You saw what he was saying now, that when I was coming, I saw a local government chairman, that his Toyota car broke down. That is the reason why they are after the governor. He refused to do the politics of old. These guys were supposed to be our representatives, sir. Go to GRA area. Go and see guys who just went into politics and after two years, they are building a mansion that worth over 100 million naira. A PA to one of these commissioners will be having a you know a trust property in a trust area within the Benin metropolis. That was the, the old order, and that is the reason why they are living. 
Because the man says, this, this, this new order is the order of the people. Let me leave a legacy behind that the people will forever appreciate. You hear him speaking. That is just the reason why they are against him. Not because they have not said now he's not doing the right thing. Everything that's done about them is, is, is aggressive. To who? To criminals like this or digger. To a bunch of arm robbers like this Abino. Who thinks that that the, the entire world of Edo people is for them? That is one reason why we must join hands and stand behind this man. You also saw a video or a, 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 a news station online today that Isaiah Yamo had promised Tony Kabaka. Let me check. Let me check if I'm going to get the video. And it's caught us the right to return back. The right to return back to our markets. And to our streets, if they make him to win. Hear this. Now, you hear that now? So this is what this guy stands for. People like that, Abino. The old order. Whereby one guy from nowhere will just become a billionaire. Overnight. All for the sake of because he's a politician. Listen, my dear people. You see, these of us, those of us in diaspora are crying, shouting. Guys, listen to me. This is not going to affect us directly. I promise you that. No, it won't. It won't. For real. For real. We are crying for you people because we know the condition that this will put you if you guys make a mistake. That's what we are crying for. We are actually crying for you guys. That you allow these guys to return back to motor parks. You allow these guys to return back to our markets. This is the reason why you guys must, as a matter of fact, join in this struggle. Do you feel that at home? Don't take 50,000 naira. Don't take 60,000 naira, 500,000. Don't listen to me. 500,000 naira is just a little bit less than a, a thousand two hundred euros. So, to, to those of us here in Europe, we see a thousand two hundred euros or thousand three hundred euros as nothing. You can't bribe me with a, with a hundred million naira. You can't for real. But the reason is this if I decide to work where I am, I can make that money in two years. And if I decide to sell my conscience 
and sell my future for four years. And my generations yet unborn. Because I, 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 I was so greedy of, of riding uh, Padro car, Padro Jeep. Or I was so, so much greedy of building a mansion. And I decided to sell my conscience to these guys. I would have lost my dignity as a person. I would have lost my voice as the voice of the people. Then also I would have sold my birthright. I would have sold my birthright to these people for four old years. So why we are begging you guys to understand where we are coming from is this. We here, we are seeing another world completely different from the world you guys are living in. And we have come to understand that the world you guys are living in is actually a backward world. And we have seen a man who is trying to revamp, to revitalize, to reorganize and reestablish that backwardness that you guys are actually living in today into the new world of the Western world. That is what actually attracts most of us in the diasporas to begin to speak in favor of the governor of the government of Obasekis. That's the reason, nothing more. We, we now see that most of the things he's doing is actually the way things have been done in the West. We, we are even these criminals, Ronto. Tony Kabaka family, they are in Canada. I also heard that some of the less family, they are somewhere also in, in, in Western world. Why are they bringing them here? Because these guys have actually made this place comfortable for all of us to be in. So you have to ask somebody who is telling you to vote for someone. Or somebody is telling you to take up arms against your own people. You need to ask him, bros, where is your wife and children? They are overseas. Seeking asylum. And the moment they succeed in getting the documents in Canada now, when the war is hot on him, they will send their father an invitation. He will jump on the next available flight and he will fly to Canada and never to return. He will start having a new life after that. Then he would have destroyed you and your born generations by the actions you are taking today. You guys need to be smart. You guys need to be smart. So if you don't have the opportunity that we have to be where we are today, these guys I'm talking about, they understand very well where we are and what we stand for. They understand that, yes, these guys in diaspora actually knew or understood the way things are working in a sane society. They know because they, they come here every time. When they come to this place, they see us a small God. They know. They respect us when they come here. Because they know that what we have is what they needed. But they will deceive you guys and, and make you believe that they are giving you the best by, ask, by, by asking to sell your future and the future of your children and your children's children for a peanut. So this tsunami that is coming in, this tsunami wave that is coming in, is clearing the path for with the masses to now start deciding. Let me tell you something why I'm supporting Obaseki. Let me tell you clearly. Obaseki is the is the only guy that does not have any 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 abeu on his back. 
Yeah, it might have some guys who are very stubborn. Yes, people like Abel Stone, people like Ossie Vibut and all that, that we know my year. Yeah, we know that before. They were with Tony Kabaka. They were actually, like, Tony Kabaka's cousin said in one of the videos that I watched that Austin V. Boot was actually the chair of the chair in Akuma Ventures. Whereby uh, a Boston was, was the operational, operational director or whatever in Akuma Ventures. He started naming some guys, you know, the, this Aruna guy they talk about today is also the way all part of Tony Kabaka's squad. In Benin City. Now, when these guys were, were working with Tony Kabaka, they actually came to a point that one of us came in and said, No, this other will no more be there. Will there will be, be here. I'm not going to drive you guys into the street. If you feel that you have what it takes, if you, if you feel you have what it takes to work with me, get me your credentials. Tell me what you can do. And let me get you, you know, involved in the day-to-day -day running of the of, of the government of the day. That's how Austin Vibut, Abel Stone, Aruna, and many others decided to join the camp of the governor. They said, okay, I think we've made a lot of money through, through uh, ticketing anyways. So why not let us now invest that money and also turn a new leaf and become a more responsible people? In the society, that that is how. So I also challenge my brother Tony Kabaka to please turn a new lead. Do not depend on ticketing. It is not. It's not going to work anymore. The era of ticketing is over. Over. We can't go back to Egypt anymore. That is one thing I'm telling. Those of you that have mothers as, as market women, tell them, let them understand. We can't vote in Zayamu because he will take us back to people, boys, beating up our parents in the market. Listen, let me tell you something. This, get this clearly. If by mistake you guys decide to sell your birthright to, 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 to Zayamu, look at what is going to happen to you. It will not only Punish you guys. It will make sure that in the next, the last four years that the basket was in government, that you guys refused to pay. Tony and his boys will make you pay for four years at the ass of ticketing. Go mark it down. Go mark what I'm saying down. A government who now look at it. The first of the people that that supported him were the Abbeus. They call themselves the lion and the tigers. I'm going to talk about that later. They call themselves the lions and the tigers. The next set of people that also is supporting him are the ex-militant in Ovia North and Ovia South and in Obaoka area. Ex-militant. Ex-militant. If you watch this guy, Anybody that is is associating himself with are, are people of questionable characters. Questionable characters. And when they come, when they come, he will tell them, yes, when I, when I become the governor, I will carry you people along. That is his statement. How are you going to carry them along? What they need there from you is to make sure that the weight of the state is being given to them to control. The other that was under the Mago Tree interview with Tony Kabaka, he made it clear in that interview. The other thing that was the other interview he did in front of his house, he also made it clear his intentions, what he needed. In one of the campaign, in, in his world, he said he does not even want to have, to become a a, 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 a a ticketing again. He wants the position of the commissioner of finance. So everything about Tony is the money. It's not. He it doesn't have any interest in you as a person. His own concern is his pocket. He's broke. He's broke. So all he needed 
is the money. That's all he's interested in. Nothing more, nothing else. And when you now see, you know, uh, 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 associated with somebody like that, you will know that your own life, your own destiny, your own future is about to be mortgaged for a pot of porridge. If you are not careful. But we who are in diaspora, the tsunami wave that we are bringing into play, we sweep away every kind, every form of political blockade that have made a donor to have a free flow of development after the era of Ali and Obemudia. We are flushing them away with a tsunami wave. Every building of obstruction that will be built by political dynasty, all in order to obstruct the developmental strives of the Edo people. The, the tsunami wave coming in is going to flush them all away and sweep away all these houses, these political houses, from the way so that they, there will be an inflow of development in the state. And though it's the heartbeat of the nation. So the heartbeat of the nation is not developed. It is questionable. People sat on Gelegele Seaport. They are using it today as 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 a as a as a political campaign against the Uncubet. But actually, they were the one that sat and guessed. That sat and guessed those infrastructures coming in. Because the moment that is being done, the minute that is being done, it will break down their ego and their unnecessary self-respect. Okay? Now, we have the lion, the hungry lions and the tigers. Tony said something. He said, he said, he said sir, these are, the, these are the lions and the tigers of each world. Let me tell you, you guys are hungry. You guys are actually hungry. You don't understand. I, I'm going to explain to you something today. If you have seen the snake called Anakoda, <laughs> if, you, if you know the snake called Anakoda, Anakoda can kill any animal. Because Anaconda is more dangerous than evil. The lions and the tiger put together. You guys are hungry, 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 hungry lions and tigers. They make a lot of mistakes. They are going to be caged before September 19th. I can promise you that. These lions and these tigers. They are going to be killed because the masses already have a weapon against them. And that weapon is their PVCs. They're going to put them in political prison by September 19th. They're going to make sure that they go into a station by just like the dinosaurs. They're going to make sure they go into a station just like the dinosaurs. They will disappear. Never to be heard of before. Go mark this one down. I'm telling you. This is the last of these guys. They are, they are using their last breaks. They're using their, their last breaks to operate wherever they're going to operate. They'll be caged politically. They will go into political extinction, just like Oshobole. They are fighting with their last breath. You know, you know when an Anaconda, I, I watched I watch a documentary, you know, a documentary where an Anaconda had a, had a fight with, with a lion. 
no with a leopard. And I couldn't have the fight with a leopard. And I caught the anaconda and the anaconda snake took the leopard and ran the leopard on his waist and, and stressed the leopard. He actually took breath away from the leopard. The leopard fought hard with his last breath, tried to bite the anaconda snake, you know, trying to, you know, use his, 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 uh, his cross to, you know, to destroy the anaconda. But because of the skin, because of the skin of the anaconda, it's slippery. It's slippery. It's very difficult for the, for the leopard to, to actually put his teeth on it until the leopard, the lion, died. They, 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 there's going to be what we call a political strangulation of these guys. Politically. I'm telling you. They're going to lose relevancy in the, in the state of things in the those states. Go mark this down. Shubhala made a mistake of calling Abbasaki a snake. He doesn't, understand, he doesn't understand. Snakes, they are very quiet, but they are very deadly. Very quiet set of animals. But they are the most deadliest of all the creation of God. They are very deadly from, from every creation. So if you think you can you can bring a man to the level of calling him a snake and you think it is workable, guys, you guys are you are really joking. Snakes, just look at the basic. He had everything, he's quiet, he doesn't talk much. He, but he, when when it, it, it takes a blow, it destroys every of your plans. You were making us around the town. The moment Obasaki came into board, he fired you from chairman. Without not saying a word, you were done. You were done. The day Obasaki resigned from APC, the same day you were sacked. The day Obasaki got his ticket, that was the day your, your National Working Committee was dissolved. Listen, don't fight a man you know you cannot fight for. Okay? So, you have to understand this now. We are ready to take us to the next level. Now, we have a new political order in a donut. How many of you watch, you know, the... the the, the, the grand entry of the son of the Edonaut, comrade, right honorable, Philip Shaibu. You know, let me, let, me, let me pull my suit. You know, this guy went in. That, that, that entry was called a triumphant entry. That was called a triumphant entry. The guy went into a donut so much so well that from Ekboma to Auchi, the guy took the entire city, the entire community by storm. People drove with him. People drove with him. All through. What is your name? Uh, love, Rooney Love. If you don't understand what, what, what political case is, go and sleep. You are not you are not even a politician then. So you are just being, you know, you are a psychophant. You don't even understand what it means to be a political cage. So you don't even know. Do you, you, you of you? I I, 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 I so much I, I don't even know the kind of people that 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 actually that this guy's actually employed. Uh, uh, what is his name? He's actually employed. So you guys are not even politically, you know, conscious. I'm just telling you the, 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 the right thing here, and you are talking about nonsense. Political cage, go sleep. I'm not going to teach you that. I will, this, this, for, this is for the tabellians. Okay? Now, this guy went in from Ekboma down to Auchi. He shocked the entire city. You, you will see crowd. The entire Okada Rada were on the street. From Ekboma to Auchi, they drove with this man. That tells you there was a new sheriff in town. A new order. The people now are ready to make a new difference. That's the truth of matter there. So, Shaibu 
has done what no man had, had done. He had, this is a guy who actually grew with Oshomole. When people support Oshomole here, I look at this person, I said, this guy, are you guys really serious? A son, Oshomole, is a, is a father to Shaibu. Just like Shaibu's father was a father to Oshomole. This guy, they ate from the same plate. They slept on the same bed. They wore the same clothes. When Oshomole was growing up, so, actually, Shaibu knew Shomole, he understood what Shomole is. For him to say, I will not support what you are actually fighting for. That shows you something must be wrong somewhere. Is it fame? Is it money? No. Shaibu would have been the benefactor of Shomole Godfatherism if he had decided if he had decided to shift position. Shabu will actually, actually, will actually become the benefactor if Obaseki was in, uh, impeached according to the plan of Shomole with the 14 miscreants that went to go and lodge in Abuja for the past one year. He knew that they told him all that. We're going to give you because if we impeach this man, you become the governor of the state. They will not put somebody now to be your deputy. They had these plans all put up. But the guy said, to hell with your plans. I am not interested. I fight for justice. I fight for, for what is right. I don't fight for my pocket. I will defend this man. I will defend his mandate. And I will defend the mandate of the other people. That is why you see today, Shaibu remained with his principal, Governor Inoyase Obaseki. He went in. He created... A tsunami co wave in the donut that even that Shomole had to go into hiding because the, the new boss was in town. Like I already talked about the Toyota product and the Mercedes Benz product, right? So that is already settled. Okay, the Toyota and the Mercedes Benz, we need Toyota product. It is durable, it is workable, it is affordable, it is economical. In every area, the Toyota product is far better than the Mercedes-Benz product. And I want to tell Obaseki and every of Obaseki's followers, please, if you were driving a, a Mercedes-Benz before, go and buy a Toyota product. Don't drive a Mercedes-Benz anymore. Mercedes-Benz belongs to Isaiah Yamu. Buy a Toyota product. Go and buy Pedro Jeep. Go and buy a, a Vensa. Go and buy, a, what is it called? Sienna. Go and buy, a, what is it called? A, a, uh, okay, KB, and every other one. Okay, so so that so that they know that we actually love the Toyota products. Okay, said so the proud and arrogant versus the all of about Obaseki is this. He talks less. Some of us, like me, who is one of his his uh, his uh, followers, I, I I sometimes get angry. When he doesn't talk, I say, ah, what, ah, come on, this guy needs to talk now. He needs to show us that, that, that he is the, he is the, he is the man in charge. He talks less. He acts less. The reason, I don't know. But, but what thing I've understood is he always, he always have a plan on how he destabilize and dis disintegrate every of their evil calculative plans it destroys it it brings it to nothing these guys are angry these guys are proud and arrogant they're going around showing we are winning nothing's going to stop it you hear this nothing i repeat nothing will make this election to be rigged. The people are already awoken. The subconsciousness of the two people politically are be woken from their slumbers. The, the animalistic nature of the Edo's today is already on the high pedestal. They not understand what it takes for them 
to have their dignity, their separate back. Obasiki has given them that power. We must make Edo State great again. This is mega 2020. No going back. Edo must move forward. We can't return back to the errors where CDAs beat us up in our sights. We can't return back to, 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 to the era where Aberus maltreat our, 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 our parents. We can't return back to the errors where pensioners are being, are being killed all in the name of screening and documentations. We can't return back to the era where workers are being owed months and months of no payment of salaries. The first, uh, the first development in, a, in every Europe country is the payment of salaries. So when some of you talk here, I look at you and said, you guys are so insensitive because of your criminal minds. How many of you that live in abroad we work for a month and, and, and your body don't pay you? How many of you living abroad supporting this 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 barbaric heart this wicked heart of these people you work abroad and at the end of the month you are not being paid you are how many of you don't tell tell whatever they call you you live abroad i know how many of you do, do you work abroad? The, the month aid, don't tell them whatever they call you. Your month aid and your, 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 whoever that you're working for did not pay you for one month, two months, three months. You guys are just being insensitive. How many of you? Why, why, do, you why do you think we come abroad? Is it because of light? No, we are not in abroad because of light. No. They pay weekly. God bless you. They pay weekly. Then what is happening in your own state? When Oshomele was owing 14 months without not being paid. Can you, can you justify that? If they pay you weekly and somebody was owing your family, your brothers, 14 months without not being paid. Can you justify that? We, we should start supporting things that are useless. Because the first thing, the first thing in, in every government is to make sure is the welfare of the, of, of the workers. is is the major priority. That's why in Europe today, some of them pay weekly, like you said. Some of them pay monthly. Some of them pay per, per hour. Per hour. You work. They, you get paid for it. That's why we are here. We are not here because of the light. No, that's not the reason why we are in Europe. We are in Europe because when we work, we get our salary paid as at when due. That is the first, the first development in any in any developed country. Not when they owe you 6, 12, 14 months. How would you survive? No payment of teacher salary actually breeds corruption. No payment of worker salary actually breeds corruption. It actually breeds criminality. You can't stop, you can't stop, you can't stop a, a, a criminality. When teachers are not be paid or when workers are not be paid, no, no. Sometimes we need to, we need to also try to make them to understand because we want them. We want we want we need to educate them. We want them to understand where we are going. That we are not just talking about. We are not just talking about We also want them to understand where we are going because we need them too to join us in this fight. Okay, so they are so arrogant. Now, you know, we also saw this guy nearly die begging the Enogis. Let, let me throw light on that. In few few weeks, few weeks in 2016, to the end of Shomole's uh, government during the election, you know, we had, there was an issue of between a subject of the Enoge of Romi and the Enoge. The, the Enoge of Romi came to the polling unit and, and, and he saw he saw something that was that was not too okay. This lady was sharing money. And when you know she was sharing money, and the, the, the Enoge said, Come on, you don't do this now. Move out of here. And the and the lady, you know, used a very 
you know, inserting wars on the monarch. And, and that actually got the monarch angry. And the monarch ordered his boys to throw her away from the police unit. And this lady went and reported to Tony Cap, I mean, to, to uh, Adam Ali Oshomule. And I said, Oshomule sent this man a query letter to explain what happened and suspended him. In less than one week, Adam Oshomule rectified his, you know, rectified his suspension and dethroned this monarch. This same endogi that he was nearly before in Edo State, all of them with the upper of Benin. With the upper being and every one of them, they were all together begging him. Begging him. They were begging him to please reinstate this man back. Shomale refused. Refused to listen to any of these people. If you to listen to any of them, and it went away, then came Obaseki and reinstated these people, this man back to his throne. Secondly, when there was crisis between Obaseki and the Shomole, you know, our actually went to all, all the other monarchs in Benin. All the other monarchs in Benin, they actually went to Buari. And pleaded for Bari intervention into the war between the two sons from Edo State. And while the Oba was still on the air back to Benin, two of Oshomole boys in the house of in the in the in the federal house of, uh, of representative had already raised the motion that the National Assembly. She would take over the Edo State House of Assembly. That actually angered Obaseki that he had to go to court. So all this whole issue we see today, all these things we see today that we are happening today, is actually as a result. So it's actually as a result of Oshomole's insensitivities. Because he's too proud, he's too arrogant, he feels the word. Because he feels the word rovers around him. Okay? So there, I just read now that he, 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 he has already applied that he wants to reconcile with the Enogi of Romi. Now I said, okay, no worry. Come after September 19 when the election will be over. So it doesn't because the Enoki doesn't want to hear anything about election between him from Oshomole. Just after the election, come back, then we will now discuss for reconciliation. So the same people you so much disrespected are the people that you're not going now to plead and beg and need down that they should, they should forgive you. How insensitive are you? Do you think everybody's everybody are just fools that Everyone will just take what, whatsoever garbage you bring it in and just accept it because you are you are you are Oshomole. You, you were nobody by God and providence. You climb the ladder of success to the highest peak any man can ever go to. And at the end of the day, the success you, you've acquired went into your head. You began to act as if you now become the god of the other people. The most, the most, the most, the most angry part of it is this: you are from the minority. You want to oppress the majority, all because you felt you had what it takes. Now let me talk about this. This our brother Jonasagi. Let me talk about Dion Osage. Ambassador Dion Osage. The truth of the matter is this. I don't have any issue with you supporting Pastor Osage Zayamu. No. 
God bear me with Christ. I have no issue. Like I said before now, everybody has reasons to do, to do whatever they want to do. That's the truth of matter there. I have no, I have no, no reason of whatsoever to be few over supporting Pastor Sagizayamu. No beef at all. But one thing I want to tell you is this. As, as, as a man who claimed to be progressive, as a man who claimed to be ideological, as a man who stood out for others to see, you need to have some level of integrity. You need to have some level of balancing. Don't let people... Listen, the position you occupy today is a very sensitive position you, you put yourself in. So you need you you need you need you need, you need, you need to be consistent. Don't allow people to, that people can easily read you, because it, it it pays some of us people like me. If you go to a battle war, the dead battle wanted to start fighting you. I wrote him privately. I wrote him publicly. I actually, I actually also write some very key. Political figures in Edo State to 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 actually you know talk to Abbott not to do some of the videos there, and we also also some of us also wrote out to you that, but I was surprised before Abbott Seki was was uh, uh, thrown out from APC, you were. With the Shomole. You actually destroyed Obaseki. You you somewhat destroyed him. That that we all started wondering what was what was going on. Then immediately Abaseki went to PDP. You came up with with the billboard, with 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 the pictures of our brothers and sisters all over all over the diaspora. And we praised you. Some of us in diaspora praised you for that uh, in, uh, in, 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 in initiative. We actually praised that wonderful job you've done there. Now, on Saturday last week, there was some commotion, you know, within Ring Road and the Upper Palace area that many of, of the big boss that actually belongs to the PDP were destroyed by some hoodlums, hired hoodlums. And what that happened, before that, you actually did a video with one of your, of your guy. And, and in that very particular video, you you try to tell people that you have the right to shed and chew and and support Obaseki based on reasons that you have. You've seen the reasons now that in this very particular contest, Obaseki is the best for the job. That's few days ago, before that very commotion between you know the PDP and the APCs. Uh, 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 supporters at the, at the gate of the Oba Palace. Then after that destructive, you know, destruction, I'm sorry, after the destruction of, of those b-balls and all those posters and every other banners that were around the Ring Road area, you also did a video with a lady. And the lady said something that actually struck me, that made me to do this video. Your case is not, don't talk about it. Now you're fed, you do your own, let everybody allow you to do your own. Abba can be witness here that I actually told him on, on, on what I wrote to him that if he wants to collect money, let her collect money, leave her. Doesn't matter. You didn't feel that the lady said, We have been telling you to come to our side. That was the exact word of that lady. We'll be telling you to come to our side. We'll be telling you to come to our side. We'll be telling you, to, but you need to listen to us. If you speak for the millions, and the thousands of followers that you have, you know the money you use in supporting the people are not actually from you. It is support from people from diasporas that, that, is, that has actually made you to be who you are today. Just like Collins is doing now. The, the finance is not actually your own. It is the support of the people. And the people in Daspa are not telling you, we want Obaseki. 
You, who are supposed to be the representative of the people down in Edo State, do not carry the people along in decisions that you make. You are not their God. They actually make you what you think you are. Okay? So the action you displayed yesterday shows that you can never be trusted by many of us in the diasporas anymore. Many of your followers are already not too happy with you. Not because you supported the Zayamu. If you have stayed on your lane of supporting Oshomole from the beginning without not dabbling into trying to support Obaseki, nobody would have cared about you. It is your right. It is your right. Just like today now, I decided to not change overnight to start supporting Izeyamu. What am I going to tell my followers that is making me that is making me not to not change my mind overnight after all this series of videos that I've done, after, you know, I have, I have, I have, I have gone to put banners with my picture, with the governor picture, and all, you know, the people who actually supported me on, on the streets of Benin. Then we just come back and say, now, I, and now I am not for Obaseki. You must, come on, guy, come on, guy. You must have an ideology. You must be ideological. You must, you must, you know, the level you are today, you're supposed to have, you're supposed to be a man of principle. You, you, you must be principled. You must, you, there, there must be some level of consistency in you that people cannot be able to judge you. Today, Abad will be so proud that he actually proved that you actually proved Abad right. Abad will say, yes, yeah, I told you guys that that guy was not sincere. A big board being destroyed is not enough for you to take the step that you took. But the truth of the matter is this, you took that step all because of something. It's quite, it's quite unfortunate anyways. It's quite unfortunate. I, 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 I was, I was like, come on, you, you, you can't, uh, you can't, you can't really do this. You don't need to love money more than you love the people that are giving you the name that you carry today. You, what you are doing today, you can't do it on, on your own. You, you, you must be able to understand when to call it a quit, running after money. It's not all. You know, good name, they say, is better than riches. You've made a name for yourself. You must keep that name. You are a young guy. You are a very, you are a very young guy that, that, that has prospect for tomorrow. With the way and manner you're going today, you can never play good politics in those state because nobody's going to trust you. Not even the politicians. You don't know them. We know them. We worked with them. I've been in their field since 1992. But actually, when when we, have, we only have Oredo, okay, I actually, I'm one of, go ask back, back at Uselu area there. They know me. At that very young age that I was, they called me professor. They, I, I, they, they know. Integrity is one thing that you must keep. Yeah, we, 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 we may make one or two mistakes along the line. Yeah, but not not this very very conspicuous mis uh, uh, actions of yours. It cannot be called mistake anymore, bro. It can't be called mistake anymore. I'm not concerned about who you support right now, but I want to I want to I'm, I'm really worried about you not be consistent. Yeah, come on, you've made a name. You've made money from this from from this foundation. So nothing any government is going to give you today that will change what you get from the diasporas. Many of those people who actually believe in you are losing confidence in you today. They, they, they begin to wonder what uh, Amigo said about you. They begin to, they begin to believe what Abba is saying about you. Yeah. 
This is this. Come on, guy. Not every, everything should not be about money alone. No. It's not, it's not, it should not be about money. You must go beyond that. Have set pride. And let people know that this, no, you can't go there. So, some of us have been called. Okay? Some of us have been called. Some of us who are supporting Obasaki today have been called. Not everybody have a, tag, a price tag. I don't do that. I don't have a people, I don't have a price tag. You can't buy me, you can't buy my conscience. You can't buy my questions. Never. It's not going to happen. You can't buy that. You can't buy my questions for me. You can't. You, at least you must. You must have. You must have a press tag. You, you shouldn't have a press tag on you. No. People should see you say no. Not go there. Not go there. Not go there. Not go there at all. Not go there. That guy. No. You not go. That's what it must be. Yes. I love this colleague Simudia. The guy has been so transparent in his in his dealings. Too transparent. I'm not here to support him. I don't know him. I don't know Collins. But I'll be watching, following him for Collins. The guy has been so transparent in his dealings. You see the guy? He had, he had followers, but he has not shown interest in anybody. He's just on his own, doing his job. He's just doing his own job. As, as a foundational man, you are more or less like a pastor. Because your followers... They are PDP, they are APC, they are ANC, they are APGA, they are wherever. You have them all around you. So you don't need to even jump into any, any of these politics at all. At all. You, you are just like a pastor, a man who's running a foundation, seeking help from people. So you're going to seek help from Babalawo. You're going to seek help from Ubonima. Anybody that is, that is ready to assist you, and you, you seek help from them. So you're not, you know, Having a, you know, an affiliation with somebody, it is it is it is, it is suicidal and, and stupid of the highest order. Please, today today is not uh, today is not uh, there is no contribution today. Please, I don't know who is calling me, but I don't want to open my line for for so much contribution today. Please, because of because of uh, some fat. Okay, so. That is just that we, 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 need to, we need to get that very clearly. So that is about genocide. I just need to deal, deal with that. The other person I need to talk about today is our brother, Avasa Nogombe. Listen. There are things you guys do that distress your integrity. What is the difference between Nogombe Dion and Eran Amigo. Everybody is, 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 is everybody is insulting Eran Amigo. Uh, listen to me. Everybody is insulting Eran Amigo. Okay, I'm not a Eran Amigo fan. But I just have to be true to that. Everyone of us is insulting Eran Amigo. Great insult on Eran Amigo. Every insult on him. But nobody is insulting these people like Dion and Avasa no, no, Mbe. What is the difference between Eran Amigo, Avasa and Dion? Why is it that it's only a Ranomigo's name that is on, on social media? Why is nobody talking about people like Abbas and Bombay? You are you are the music he played. He actually destroyed Shoshobole. When he was on the Ranomigo show, he said when they took him to Abuja, did not tell him what is happening, the truth. Well, are you serious? Are you really serious? You call yourself the, the masses. Chairman, you actually listen to some few individuals against the masses which you represent. Your support for Obaseki or for Isayamu is not supposed to be your own. It's not supposed to be your own decision. It's supposed to be the decision of your followers. You guys must start understanding how the position you put yourself, how it works. So then now, 90% of my followers are actually for Obaseki, for example. Then tomorrow morning, I will just come online and said Obaseki is a failure. How am I going to explain to them? How, I, I, how am I going to tell them that Obaseki is a failure? 
where they are the one giving me the information that Obasiki has actually done where based on what is happening in Nigeria or in Benin. Come on, you guys. You are telling me this morning you, you will never vote him because um, you are a businessman. You the same motto. You the, listen, listen. Uh, Avasa. If you want to be a musician, eh, be a musician. Nobody is talking about Akubegia. Nobody is talking about influence uh, Akaba. Nobody is talking about Osaramori Joseph. Nobody is talking about uh, Too Talented. Nobody is talking about uh, Olita, the twin brothers, wherever in Benin. Sunshine. Nobody is talking about them. Because these guys will decide to be musicians. So they sing music. If you come to carry them, they can they can they can do a little uh, 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 jingle for you. You pay them. They are not saying they are the masses chairman. The moment you put that title upon you of the masses chairman, that the voice of the voiceless, then there are some things you cannot do. There's some things you cannot venture into. Okay. Evans and Abolele, go check my wall. What I do for a living, okay? Go check my wall. I'm not I'm supposed to tell you. You go check my wall. You have my phone number on the street, on the on on you know, on the social media space. Call and ask of who I am. Okay? So don't stop asking some stupid questions. What I do for a living does not does not determine what I'm telling you now. So that, that's why you guys, you guys sometimes you just lost it when when you are not very coherent. Somebody said to tell you the truth. You are trying to that listen, sometimes you need to throw politics away from some of the things we do as a people. For real. For real. Put policies aside. Let's deal with issues based. If you watch the video that the, the, the song that this guy plays, he's going to tell us that they took him to Abuja, they now explain to him what is happening. That's why he now know that Abbas he betrayed the Shomole. Are you really serious? That Abbas did do this, Abbas do that. To who? Is it the masses that you are, you are representing? Or the few who are telling you the story? That's the question. You are representing, you call us the masses chairman. That you are representing us as a people. Now, you are now telling me you change your mind. Do not change your mind because some few individuals took you to Abuja and tell you what Obasaki is doing when actually you live in Benin City with Obasaki. You are not like me who lives abroad. You are not like me who is far from home. You are right there at the backyard of Obaseki, and this guy had to take you to Abuja. People living in Abuja is not telling you what is happening in Benin City. Where you actually live in, does it make sense to you? How can you convince your people of your action? I saw your video. I was so, it was so disgusting, I couldn't even watch it. My cousin was, assuming Obaseki did something wrong. You that lives in Benin supposed to be the first person to know that this is what Obasiki actually did wrong. Not somebody in Abuja. They flew you to Abuja. They buy you ticket. You were already bought over now. Huh? And if you stay in Abuja, you're not going to live there for one day. You're going to stay in Abuja for a week. They'll put you in one of the best hotels owned by one of their supporters. Anyways, treat you like a king. Maybe drive you around the town in 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 uh, in uh, in in Bethany or Rolls Royce. Take you to presidential suits where you have never once been to in your life. The one will not come back to us and tell us that they told you all that. That makes you to change overnight. You are a disgrace to the masses. You are not a masses chairman, sir. You don't be a masses chairman. A masses chairman listen to his people. 
they listen to their people. Not as a few. So are you, are you not going to change the song? Which song are you going to sing today that Obaseki did compared to the one you did before? Okay, sometimes I just, I, just, sometimes I just get tired of you guys. You guys will just be bought over with some little money. Say if you say, I'm going to call you today and give you money, you will collect. So everything about you guys is just money. Every one of you have a tag, a price tag on you. And they know you people. That's why they don't take you guys serious. Shomale said it. Shomale said, if you want, if you want, if you want, if you want, if you want a bini man and a bini man, see, I don't know, say bini man, I don't know, say binis are so, are so weak like this. So, Shomale actually uh, 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 compare bini man to a foul. Say, if you throw corn for grant for, for foul, foul go to Russian, you go fool them and use them. You guys display it. How much will they give to you? Oh, no, How much? You bet before when you do something wrong. Wait for Sabomba that time. They begin to beat you. They begin to beat you for Sabomba. They don't, they don't allow you to play. You're going to beg us for, for, for internet. Now you are coming back again now. This time I cannot be in a beat. They will beat you. Because that's the you wrong country rope. We're in danger rope. We save you. This time, now you people, now, 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 now you they follow the vessel. They will make sure say you not go enter Europe again. Nobody will carry you enter Europe anymore. We don't care if you're supporting Zayamu, like I always say. We don't care if you're supporting Obaseki. No, that's not my problem. My problem is you guys who, who, are, who are public figures that we, uh, we, 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 we actually believe in. It's so it, You guys are disappointing us. You, you guys are, are, are really bringing us down. That is just my pain. You guys are bringing us down. You're disappointing us. We, we 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 see that ah, oh, ah these guys you know these guys now these guys are really big problem we we love them you know they're really doing something nice then before we know what's happening they will just give us more money you sell us just sell us all these people all these people today who who's, who who are, who are you you guys you guys are just Judas you guys are Judas is carrot for just for just simple this pieces of silver you sold us out. You sold us out. You are coming out. You are coming out to come and defend. You know the the indefensible. I don't care who you support. I don't give a damn about that. So it's not my call. It's not my business. But be consistent. Start from one place so that if if thunder they come, if thunder they come, you go nowhere to strike. Not to move up or up and down. You are giving Tonda a lot of problem to understand where to go to. Start, start from one place, start from one place. Maybe, maybe, maybe they see you. Maybe you're going you're to you're wave up and down. People don't feel understand. They, know, they, they don't understand where they go. Make, make Tonda they see where Una they go. So that if there is any need for the Tonda to strike, you go nowhere to, you go nowhere to armor. You can't send the you can't send the cushion of the people. You say you are for us. Please remove that, that title, the masses chairman, from from you. You are not the masses chairman. The masses chairman listens to the masses. The masses chairman we have today is Obaseki. The masses chairman today we have is Obaseki. Is the one that is actually standing for the masses. You are, you are, sir, sorry. You are a disappointment to some of us. A very big one. A very big one, for that matter. You disappoint, or you fall our hand. You fall our hand correctly. You fall our hand big time. You fall our hand. With a paro for you right now. With a verse. With a verse. With a verse for you, for real. And they play your music every time, but now nah, I don't delete all your music. Come on for my, come on for my. And a verse for you, for real. Be consistent. Stay in one place. Stay in one place. Make them know who you be. Make them know who you be. One thing that's one thing I appreciate uh, uh, about for, about Thomas. I appreciate you for that. I appreciate you for that. For that. 
it start where you where you believe. Not, not they go up or down. Not they go up or down like 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 uh, this thing. Stand where you be. Whether there is is coming in, it's not coming. Stand. People know you for integrity. Money not be buying. Come on, guys. What gonna what gonna what gonna do where? How you do where? Now they now they now they you know now they follow our hand. They follow our hand. I beg. Very confused person. Very confused person. Very cheap. It's too cheap. Money is not everything. Money, money, not be everything. Money, not be everything. Money. Listen, I was in this country when I came into these countries many years back, and I rented a, an apartment somewhere in town. Now, the second richest commune after after the 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 uh, the the state capital, which is Stockholm, is the second commune. Is the second richest commune. The local government chairman was living in the two bedroom flat also on top of us. The local government chairman runs to to catch up with the train every morning like us. I'm telling you, before I didn't know until one day I saw him on TV. I said, Ah, I said, this is gonna be no this guy with the live for 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 year. Let me this one so. These guys, they just feel life needs to be comfortable for everyone. A local government chairman living on top, just a two bedroom, just the way I, I, ordinary, ordinary, ordinary person, where they do small, small job, they leave. He had no car, he was running. To pick up the train to office. I've been a train in this country where I, where myself and the prime minister, the prime minister was with earphones standing in the train, you know, riding towards his office at the central of the station. Okay, so th these are things we need to start doing, for goodness sake. That's the reason why you must vote for Governor Basaki, because he's going to take us there. You're going to help us to get to that level that we need to get to. And the last, before I go, there was, like I said, there was a video of Tony Kabaka's brother that, that is that is trending today, really trending really fast, that I, I, I want the governor to, to actually listen, listen to. And that 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 very particular video will be of, of use you know, to the government of... Uh, Welcome to the YouTube. Kendi Shako. Uh, it will be uh, of great. Uh, Get the best. It will, it will be a great of great benefit to the to the government, you know. Talk share. I came out this moment to just just listen a little bit. Then I will I will be done. Know, if you are watching me live now, you can share. You know, Nobody does talk. Nobody does see the comments. Since come talk, bro, what's your post Saturday? But I know I pass like you. Now they have a store. Now they have TV booth. Now they should go. Oh, now now they should go. For me, I know say not you should go. Shut up. Now you teach everybody work now. People when they fight it, they now you teach the work. But they still know some artists where they stand on before they call still know I teach them. They was stone like a boy. As the view was so sure of function I could be I was part of you. You helped me. Let me joke. You believe me. Because I was loyal. Oh show one not give you work. Oh show one that give you work. Oh show one. Eh? Oh show one. So, so you you can hear that. You know, there were a lot of things that like I revealed. You know, go and watch it on a Danin Ija is to be said. Message to my big uncle Tony Kabaka. Go and watch that video. Is it was it was it was something it was something uh, uh, explosive that we need to actually hear. So my advice to everyone of you is this: Let's vote for the future. Let's vote for tomorrow. Let's vote for development. Let's vote for institutionalization. Of Edo State, let's vote for continuity. Let's vote for umbrella. Let's vote for PDP. Let's vote for Governor 
que no va a ser o pasa aquí. That's really true to matter there. That's what we are asking for. If you listen to this guy, what he said there is enough for you to know that anything that any 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 way Tony day you're not supposed to do there. Because I can't say about for two minutes video, I can't play it. Just go there and and listen. What this guy said, you can't. You will not even want to be there. There were a lot of secret that the guy received. Even he was putting them in code, even in code. But yet he he, he brought us so very many things that we cannot even. Let me, let me try to answer this uh, call. Hello. Hello, if I'm in Mary Line. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Should I put it on speaker? Should I, should I put it on speaker? Okay. Yeah, you're hearing you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. <laughs> Please, guys. Thank you, guys. That that's that's my that's my papa. You know, he's uh, he's uh, all the way from uh, New York City in the USA. He's, he's mad today. He's uh, in the cell. What the mad Monday, whatever. <laughs> guys, I need to go right now. Now, until we see you again tomorrow, you know, we're gonna talk more. We're gonna we're gonna make sure we tell the people. Let's just call the people back home. Our basic is the way. Abbas is away. I'm going to deal with Tony Kabaka's brother video tomorrow. I'm going to analyze that video tomorrow. Please be online tomorrow, 5 p.m. tomorrow. I'm going to analyze Tony Kabaka's brother's video to him. I'm going to analyze that video tomorrow. Be online, 5 o'clock. Invite people in. If you're on, on YouTube, bring people in on Facebook. Tell people. Tomorrow is going to be explosive. We're going to analyze that video word by word, talk by talk. Then we're going to give room also. We're going to give room also, you know, to also now uh, 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 give room for people to also talk, you know, on that very particular video. God bless you guys. We appreciate you. Thank you for this wonderful uh, privilege you've given to me. I so much cherish it. And I promise you guys, I'm not going to fail you. I'm not going to be a sellout like Dion Osage and Avasa 
no one be. Have a blessed night. Ciao, guys.